And with delight she works with her hands. Proverbs 31, 12. This portion of scripture really brings to mind how much we need to find joy in our daily routines of life and being homemakers can be a daunting, sometimes thankless task, but it's something that um, I feel God has called me in particular to do, and I just always want to delight, to find joy, to find happiness in what I do as a mother and homemaker for my family and for my home, for the land that we live on, and above all, to serve Christ. day and reading scripture is very crucial to me in the mornings and this rainy day just happened to be one where we all were up bright and early on a Saturday and I got to do just that and it was a very rainy day and I really enjoyed spending a little bit of time in the cool crisp morning in May with my little girl splashing in the puddles looking at how my plants are growing knowing that yes I have done this and worked with my hands to make a beautiful space for us to enjoy as a family to invite people over to enjoy And since it was such a rainy day, making a loaf of banana bread was something that I thought, why not? We have overripe bananas. Let's get this going, have it for a snack that morning and something that I know my family will enjoy. And then it was time to play with the little one inside and a lovely subscriber sent this blanket dollhouse to us for Nevea to play with along with a horde of other things for the little girl to come as well and it's just so fun to play with her with that and I just appreciate all of you as subscribers as well who truly um help me keep going because I I enjoy what I do as a homemaker and I'm so grateful that I get to share that with you and that you all seem to enjoy it <laughs> Rainy days are, like I said, great for baking and cooking, and I am making some chewy ginger snaps. It is our pastor's birthday, and we were doing a little surprise for him at the church, so um, we decided to whip up a batch of chewy ginger snaps. I'll link the recipe or write it down because it's actually not one on the internet. So I just think that's a way I can be a homemaker as well is by serving people in our community too and then it was time to fluff up my cushions so i got this extra batting from my sister in a giant homemade pillow and it has been such a blessing to have because our couch is well worn well used and it needed a little love and tlc so we just stuffed it with some of this extra batting and really just tried to take care of the home, make it look nice, even if it is very well used, but it works well for us. And I think that's important as a homemaker to care for the used things we even have and make it look good and welcoming for all who come to the home and for you as well. Laundry time, always a daily task. I usually try to do one or two loads a day if need be, and this was a towels load and they really don't take very long to do and so that's just something again as a homemaker we get to do and you know cherish those random moments with your kids when they're helping or playing on the bed with you
My daughter really wanted to try to roll out a ginger snap ball to roll in the sugar, and so I let her try that. It just got really mushy and smushed, and then she wanted to eat it. But I think it's so important that we as homemakers train our children to experiment and try the practices of homemaking, even if they make mistakes, and you just encourage them along the way. So it was a ribs night. I cooked them for about four hours and they turned out so delicious. But then it was time to work in the backyard as the rain lifted for a while. It was quite chilly, but we got some good tasks accomplished. And from the time I have filmed this, the backyard look has changed quite a bit. And so I just really am enjoying how it is coming along and really looking forward to the destination of what we're hoping it will be. Food, I find, is one way to really serve my family, and I love making things homemade, even if it's something new, like ribs. I've never done ribs before, but they turned out, like I said, really delicious from a um, local friend's cow, so it was just so yummy and good to have along with our sides of some sweet or regular potatoes and Brussels sprouts and just again a kind of well-rounded meal that I love serving my family with and laboring with honestly and back to that scripture it's just something to delight in knowing you can nourish your family well and then again per usual an evening cleaning quick mop of the floor taking care of wiping down just some nitty gritties in the kitchen like my stovetop and microwave here in a bit and just again resetting it for the next day when yes I know it all will happen again it will get dirty it'll get grimy but Proverbs 31 12 is a great reminder for us all as homemakers. <music> <music>